it's Makaya, and welcome back to your favorite, your favorite, your favorite webisodes. Let's talk. So with that being said, let's talk. <laughs> about this year guys listen listen um what i'm done um talking about what we have talked about today i have an exciting announcement for you guys so stay tuned to watch this video guys if y'all hear kids screaming in the back just ignore it. i don't know if my neighbor's having like a party or something but it's just a lot of noise so excuse that so considering that we are now in 2020 there are just a few things um, people of God that we need to leave in 2019. We don't need to bring those into 2020. So thanks God I'm going to give you a list the things that you need to leave in 2019. Don't bring those here We're in 2020. Leave that there We don't want that Leave that. First thing to all my saints who don't like to be the church on time You have to leave that in 2019 2020 don't be walking up in church late. If church starts at 11, don't come at 11 30. You don't miss prayer and worship. You don't miss announcements. Uh, hello. Hello. Be, be to church on time. On time. God does things in decent and in all time. Be to church on time. Number two. Ta -ta. All my worship leaders. 2020. Y'all gonna stop screaming at the people of God. Stop. Stop being stop. Stop being aggressive with the people of God. The people over there trying to worship. And you just being aggressive. Stop. 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 Next. My dances. I'm gonna hit y'all real quick. You know, I, I'm a dancer myself. I dance, love the Lord. Hallelujah. I do. But I'm gonna hit y'all dances right quick. Number one, one thing y'all gonna leave in 2020 is this flying hair. Put your hair up in a ponytail, in a bun. Do something. Do something. And you shouldn't be dancing. Your hair is confusing me. You just it's whipping all over the place. No. We don't want that in 2020. Put that hair up. Put it up. If it ain't natural, then it can stay in a puff that is unmovable and unshakable. Put it in a bun. Put it in a bag. Because if you don't put it in a bun, we're going to have incidents like this. <laughs> put it up. Put it up. The next thing dances, if I hear anybody, if I hear anybody dance your a healer, or the, the King of Kings is in this, this. If I hear those two songs in 2020, somebody dancing them, I'm out of the fit. Y'all leave, again, leave those songs. Leave those, leave. Don't nobody be dancing them in 2020. I mean, all of 2019, everybody danced your heels. And you know what? I can't even be bad because I did it too. I did it too. But everybody was dancing. Don't bring that if we get the point. We get the point. The King of Kings is came in the room and we get the point. He's a healer. Go and bring that in 2019. Also in 2019, y'all look more Christian. Y'all look more Christian. Hello, y'all. Either you're going to be hot or cold. You must, you must, you're going to be a hot or cold. You must pick. You need to know. You need to know on this this good blessed Sunday. You need to know if you're gonna be hot or cold. Don't bring no lukewarm up into 2020. Don't. Uh, uh. And if you have already brought it, you need to go and return it back to 2019. Don't bring that here. God is looking for serious people. Serious people who are ready to move. People who are ready to walk in purpose. People who are ready to start establishing the kingdom and and building the kingdom of God. Don't come up here with that lukewarm stuff people to accept it no no next thing all y'all people who like to play games y'all gonna leave 
we gonna leave you and your games in 2019. We need serious people. Serious people in this season. Next thing leave in 2019. Women of God, women of God, women of God. I love you. I love you. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. And I talked about this in 2019. All the makeup y'all using to transform yourselves. Stop it. Stop it. And these lashes. I understand, you know, everybody lashes ain't long. But y'all people who wear these outrageous lashes looking like y'all finna fly away to glory. Stop. Leave those in 20. I don't want to see no outfit look like the pillars on your eye. Hello, you gonna wear lashes? Let them, let them be in. Let them, let them be some nice lashes. You know, some nice lashes. I see some people out here with nice lashes, but then there's people out here just doing too much. Doing too much. You look like bird wings on your eye. Jealousy, jealousy and envy, y'all finna leave it in 20. Hello, hello, don't be don't be in 2020 jealous and envious of, of what people got. Number one, because you don't know how people got what they got. You don't know how people got what they got. You don't know. You don't know what they doing to get what they get. You you focus on you and the Lord, and when the Lord promotes you and when he gives you what he wants, he will give it to you. Don't be jealous and envy of people. Not in 2020. Drop it. Drop it. Y'all gonna be mad at me. Y'all just gonna be mad at me today. I already, I already feel it. Y'all gonna start 2020 off mad with Makai. But it's okay. Okay, I'm done joking. <laughs> I'm done playing around. Um, uh, with three things um that actually that that you need to change in 2020 or things that you need to leave in 2019. Um, number one, you have to leave behind. That hidden thing, that one thing that keeps holding you back. Um, we all have that one thing that we have to battle with. Uh, Paul says there's a war going on in the members, and there's a war going on daily. Daily there's a war. But there's always that one thing, that thorn in your flesh, that one thorn in your flesh that keeps you from, from going forward in God. That keeps you from that keeps you from reaching potential. Uh, that keeps you from reaching destiny you have to leave that in, in 2019 whether it be a friend whether it be a job whether it be a habit that one thing that keeps holding you back that one thing that you that you keep saying you're not gonna do anymore that, or that one thing that you, you say you're not gonna that hold you back or that one person that you say yeah i'm not gonna mess with no more but you keep finding yourself back there you have to make up in your mind in 2020 that no matter what you will leave that behind you um, because it can't go forward with you um, because it hinders you from getting to where you need to go. So that's number one. We got to leave all, all, all the things that are holding us back. We have to leave those um, in 2019. We can't bring them here. We can't, can't bring them into this year. We just can't. Um, number two, you have to leave your old mindset behind. The, your old way of thinking, how you thought then, how you did things then. Your old ways of just functioning. You have to leave leave it leave it alone leave it in 2019 because it's not going to help you here it's not going to help you from 2020 further on in life it's not so you have to leave that old mindset that old lackadaisical spirit that old um that old procrastinating spirit you know oh i could do i could do it at any time and that's that's for me too you know that's not just i'm just not bashing y'all i'm taking this for me too we have to leave um that the we have to be renewed and transformed in our mindset as we come into this new year. Um, well, not as we come into this new year because we're already in it. But we have to be transformed and renewed in our mind. Um, because God God is the same God yesterday, today and forevermore. But he's always doing a new thing. Um, so we can't have a new thing with an old mindset. Um, because all we would do is damage it. Well, let's just say. Okay, I don't know for all you Apple users out there. All you Apple users out there. I have an iPhone X. I used to have an iPhone 4. I had an iPhone 4, iPhone 6, iPhone X. But I used to have an iPhone 4. The things that my iPhone 4 used to do, my iPhone X does more than that. My iPhone 4, my old iPhone 4 doesn't do 
anything as close as my iPhone X. So if I try to put my battery, you know, my iPhone 4 battery in my iPhone X phone, it won't work. Why? Because I have a new thing, but I'm trying to use an old, an old system, an old mindset. The systems aren't the same. The batteries aren't the same. Everything about the two phones are different. The only thing that is the same is who developed them. So, so yes, God is today. God is the same God, but he's always doing a new thing and a new work in us. So when we come into this year, we have to change our minds. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to transform. That means you have to read more, read more. You have to study more, study more. Do whatever you have to do to change this mindset up here. All right? And last thing. Thing. And my dad said this, and I was like, ha ha, yes, God. You have to change your inner atmosphere so that your outer surroundings will be made whole. I'll say it one more time. You have to change your inner atmosphere so that your outer surroundings will be made whole. It kind of connects. It basically connects with what what I've just, the two previous things that I've given you before. Um, in this season, you have to change everything about you. You have to make up in your mind uh, that you are going to do this wholeheartedly uh, and that you're just going to serve God no matter what. And let me tell you something. When you change your atmosphere, when you when you decide that you are going to live to the standard that God has called you to live to, your outer surroundings will change. What do I mean by your outer surroundings? The people that you hang out with, the things that you used to do, the environments that you used to go with. Things on the outside will change. Why? Because you are changed. Uh, don't find it strange if, if you start taking God seriously and now friends don't want to hang out with you. You're not getting invited to parties. You know, people are not calling you to come hang out. Why? Because you have changed. Don't take offense to it. Be flattered. Be flattered and know, wow, there has really been a change in my life. And you never know. You never know how you changing can cause someone else to change. So, in 2020, I want you to stand strong, to stand flat-footed in the Word of God. Because it is His Word. It is by His power and by His might we are even here today and that we will continue to go on in 2020 so yep that's it i hope you laughed i hope you got something um i think i, I hope you got something you know you know worth having <laughs> uh, this video may be a little short um but i still hope you guys enjoy so yeah but before i end i want to give you guys an announcement so um I talked about I talked about in my other two videos how Let's Talk is about to do some things and how we're, we're you know we're trying to expand. So um, me and my father, if, if you've been here, you know that me and my father did a video um, called How to Nurture a Cult of Anointing an Anointed Seed Part One and Part Two. Um, you guys had such a great response to it. Um, I got so many comments on that. I had people walking up to me like, Oh my gosh, that video was wonderful it was awesome your dad said some serious stuff so so i have an announcement i have an announcement i have something to say um so in addition to let's talk we are going to add straight talk straight talk so what is straight talk um straight talk um uh, is basically going to be my father he's going to come on once a month to let's talk so it'll be straight talk with let's talk it'll be straight talk on let's talk so he'll be coming He'll be coming on once a month, um, and he'll be giving you the real, the real, the real, uh, the real spill, the real tea, the real inside look um, to whatever you guys want him to talk about. So if there's a topic that you want my father to talk about, discuss, leave a comment, DM me, um, Facebook me, Snapchat me, um, and, and whatever you guys want to talk about, or whatever you guys want to talk about, you guys want to hear his perspective um, of what he has to say. Hey, leave it leave it and let us know um, i'm excited i'm excited for this new segment it's going to be once a month um like i said so it's going to be a lot of things happening this year like i said we're, we're blowing up we're going big we're going to higher and bigger and greater things and let's talk and i'm really excited about having straight talk i'm excited about that um 
straight talk has been something my dad has done with us our entire life. Um, he always had straight talk where he would come and see, he would come and sit us down and be like, okay, there's no repercussions here. Whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about. You know, you, you, what if you don't like something that's going on right now? Here's your time to say it. There is no repercussions. No, I'm not gonna beat you. No, I'm not gonna be mad at you for saying it. This is straight talk. Where straight talk where you can talk so straight talk is where you get some real understanding um, and as you guys say the real spill or the real tea you know on what's going on so yep i think that's all my announcements i do have another announcement coming but that will come when that comes but yep that's it don't forget to like share subscribe turn on the post notifications um remember your plus plus god equals flawless and go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Bye.